therefore it's shrinking, which means that one day it will be gone. So black holes are not eternal prisons, they have a lifetime. One day, whatever's in there is returned to the universe. The question was, the central question that was immediately raised by those calculations is this. What happened to all the stuff that fell in? The way I've described it, the way Einstein's theory describes it, is somehow that stuff goes to the singularity, whatever that thing is. The end of time, a region of space-time that's so convoluted and distorted that we don't understand how to describe it at all. But then, one day, the whole thing is gone. All that's left in the far, far future is Hawking radiation. Those particles that were produced in the vicinity of the event horizon. The question is, is it possible? If you could collect all that radiation, all the Hawking radiation through the whole life of the black hole, is it somehow possible, in principle, that the information about everything that fell into the black hole throughout its history is imprinted in that radiation in the far future. Is that true or is it not true? You might say, why did I ask that question? Seems like a bit of a random question.